Hello, I'm glad you're here. Today I'd like to talk about how the BCA approach shifts our perspective and when we start looking at emotions as just power and not guidance or insight or intelligence, it really changes how we see the whole concept of emotional intelligence. I think it is fair warning at this point to mention that I do not believe in the emotional intelligence myth. I believe in emotional power and cognitive intelligence based on how our brain works, the neurology, the psychology, the mindfulness, and our social and cultural development. However, the book Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goleman has been influential for many people to really start looking at the importance of emotions in our lives, including my process to really explore and understand how emotions really impact our lives. The problem is that as I looked closer at the book on emotional intelligence, I discovered it frequently combines emotions, thoughts, and actions into one single event and ignores the huge space between how emotions are transferred and become influential in our thoughts. That includes beliefs, values, experiences, imagination, environment, and so much more. This emotional intelligence interchange of thoughts and emotions starts on page two in the book, Emotional Intelligence, with a horrifying example of blaming fear as impelling Bobby Crabtree to shoot and kill Matilda, his 14-year-old daughter. Emotional intelligence blames fear as a guiding, evolutionary, automatic response. Looking closer, we see that is not true. Even Daniel Goleman states it was a tragedy of errors. Yes, Mr. Crabtree was fearful when he came home that night and heard a noise in the house. But it was his thoughts beliefs, values, environment, imagination, focus, and actions that really created this tragedy. He thought an unfamiliar sound in the house must be a dangerous intruder. He imagined and focused on the worst possible scenario. He believed it was a life or death situation and he valued a violent response to this unknown noise in the house that he had heard. This occurred at 1 a.m. in the morning after visiting friends. While it is very clear fear gave him power to act, it is his thinking that directed that power to go get a gun and search the house. His thinking and focus built up his imagined fears and his fear power until he was primed to have an emotional explosion, which sadly he did when Matilda jumped out of the closet. I really wish things had been different for them. It makes me sad every time I hear when someone becomes overwhelmed with emotional powers and bad things happen. Not because we are emotional, but because we are unskilled and unaware. Unskilled in managing our emotions and unaware of recognizing the many influences that guide our thinking and actions. When we blame fear, we ignore and overlook the beliefs, values, thoughts, imagination, focus, perspective, physical states, relationships, and actions. And that is a lot to overlook. So it's time to start looking closer at our emotional powers and to deconstruct the emotional intelligence myth and the continued negative consequences of blaming emotions for our choices and actions. I'm going to close with a Buddha quote that goes, you will not be punished for your anger. You will be punished by your anger. Thank you very much.